hey y'all thank you for clicking welcome back to my channel my name is agnes and today i'll be showing you how to make this beautiful ruffled skirt so um most of you have requested it via my instagram you want to know how i do the perfect ruffles and how i keep the back line of the skirt in a straight line so yeah i decided you know it's it's high time i i gave you a video so if you're new here please subscribe give me some psych to keep making these videos okay so i think that's it let's get into the video i hope it helps you out and you learn from it if you do give the video a thumbs up and yeah that's it for this project i'll be using a 2.5 millimeter hook you already know it's my favorite uh, i'll be using medium white yarn this is a winter king brand and it's in hot pink i'll be using a measuring tape and of course scissors so we'll start with the waistband to make a waistband we'll be used we'll make a foundation chain so simply make your slip knot and then chain 18 so i already have one so two three four five six seven eight nine ten one two three four five six seven eight so once you you have your 18 18 stitches 18 chains yarn over so we're going to be using half double crochets for this part so in your third stitch in your third chain without counting the one on the hook make a half double crochet insert your hook yarn over pull through once and then you have three three loops then yarn over and pull through all the three so do double crochets until the end so that's two three six seven So 15 double crochets, chain two, then turn your work. And now for this, we're only going to work in the back loop. So here where you have two loops, so, uh, so when you turn your work like that, find some focus yes so yarn over and then the, this very first stitch don't insert your hook in both loops go to the back loop that's why you insert your hook yarn over you have three on your hook and then pull through all the three loops on your hook so do have double crochets only in the back loop So that will be the pattern for the for the waistband only back loop half double crochets and uh, do that until you have enough rows that when you stretch your waistband it gets to your measurements for this project i'll be doing waist 26 yes i'll be doing waist 26 so i'll continue to do this same pattern until i when i stretch my waistband i get to 26 inches i'll tell you how many rows i have once i'm done 
So continue to do the same. Okay. And I will meet when you're done. So I'm done with my waistband. Uh, you can see this ridge effect. So if you're only working in the back loop, yes, you'll have this these ridges, which I think is cute for a waistband. Uh, it also makes it a bit more stretchy than if you're not doing any ridges. So yeah, that's my waistband. I'm, I, like I said before, I was doing size 26. This can fit 25, 26, and even 27. So if I've not stretched it out, I do have about 20 inches. So if I stretch it out, let's see. If I stretch it out, it actually comes to about 27 inches around there. So yeah. So once you have done, you're done with your measurements, you've, uh, these are, for me it's a hundred and, no, sorry. <laughs> it's 54 rows, rows of uh, half double crochets. So for, let's say I waist uh, 28 to 30, you can do about 58 rows then from 30 maybe to 32 you can do about i usually do about uh, 60 rows okay so or you can simply you know stretch and, and and get your measurements so from here we're going to connect these two parts just to you know to now actually make it a waist so i will use slip stitches if you have a iron needle you can use a iron needle i don't have i lost mine so i'm just going to join using slip stitch slip stitches so simply slip stitch through the front uh, part and the back part it's the same number of stitches 15 so uh, this will count as my first slip stitch go into the next stitch and slip stitch through both the front and the back just like that until you get to the end join them together until you get to the end okay so do that and i'll show you what what is next if you opted for a slip stitch like me you didn't have to cut off the yarn and this is the wrong side so now we are going to uh, turn this work inside out and work from the right side so we have our waistband now we're going to work on the skirt going downwards so what we'll do is first make it neat we'll do single crochets all round so chain one In that very first stitch make a single crochet and in every row you will put two single crochets in every row so I normally put one in right there and the next in that ridge so that makes it two so one in that chain in that space the half double crochet space and another one in the ridge like that all around So do that, uh, put single crochets all around and uh, we'll meet when you're done. So it's one single crochet in the ridge and another in that half double crochet space. So I'm, I'm at the end. So what I'll do, I'll simply insert the hook in that very first one and then make a slip stitch. Okay, so we join the two. So now we're going to start on row one. So for one, uh, the bottom part, we're going to be using half double crochets, which is my favorite stitch. So simply chain two. And this very first stitch that looks like, you know, 
don't count this chain as a stitch so we'll have to make a double a half double crochet in that very same stitch so insert your hook right there don't skip any stitches so that's our first half double crochet and then we're going to make half double crochets or round i love to use the 2.5 millimeter hook because you know this makes the outfit more wearable without it being a see-through or have having to put i don't know the the lining beneath you know so that's why i love to use the half double crochet stitches and then a smaller hook because you can wear it at any time of day without you worrying about it being a see-through so do that for this very first row and i will meet you as we are finishing so that i can show you how to keep your line straight so i'm at the end of row one so you see this uh, chain two that we did in the beginning so under it there seems to be something like you know that small hole like a stitch so make sure you put a half double crochet in that very stitch it may seem like an increase i think it is an increase i've never counted my my stitches but that's how you're going to keep your line straight so below that chain to space always put a stitch there okay so once you're done make a slip slip stitch to join this is how it looks then chain two now we're going to row two so we're going to be working in one direction okay so in chain two and in that very first stitch put a half double crochet it counts as our first stitch and then half double crochet in all the rest of the stitches so do that for row two and once you get to the end once you get here in this very last stitch put a half double crochet so that you can keep our back line in a very straight line okay so i'm done with row two now row three we're going to start increasing just to accommodate you know the hip area and all so what i normally do is determine the middle of the skirt on my end i already did i don't measure what i just you know do it my way because <laughs> i have one two three four five six on this side and then one two three four five six on this side so assume this is the middle part however you can measure i'm not always that accurate because you never tell anyway so on this side just uh, you can use a stitch marker as for me i'll just extend the yarn this is on one hip end and also on this other side i'll pull out the yarn just to mark where i need to do my increases so we'll be increasing on the right side and on the left side of the hip okay so we are now going to chain two to start row three chain two yarn over insert your hook pull through once and then pull through all the three so do half double crochets until you get to this side when you need to do an increase
so I'm getting close to where I had pulled out the yarn which was in this uh, stitch so if you get there that very first stitch before your stitch marker put two half double crochets so that's one and that's two so we have one increase we'll be making two increases on every side so for the next stitch simply insert one one half double crochet and right after that the next stitch insert two half double crochets so we are now uh, these two increases are, are separated by just one half double crochet so you continue with the half double crochets until you get to this other side and do the same increase to one on this side and then do another increase on this side so that we have 403 we'll have uh four increases that's if you're making you know this kind of size and then uh was this i'm going to make for hips 30 around 36 to 38 if you're doing maybe uh this works for till i think i've done up to hips 42 and i'll only did this kind of increases but if you're doing a smaller size for example my size i am hips 33 you can only maybe instead of two increases just do one on one side and another on the other side so that you only have you know two increases instead of four on a row okay so do that and uh, we'll meet when you're done with row three so i'm coming to the end i hope you're remembering to put a stitch in that very last you know stitch right below the chain so this is end of row three let's make a slip stitch yeah and now we're going to row four for row four we are not going to in make any increases so it will be just double crochets all around no increasing okay so that will be the pattern so it will be row three and row four repeat the same pattern until you have a total of you know 10 a total of um 12 rows so it will be five rows of increase and five rows of no increase so once you get to row 12 then we'll meet there so repeat row, row three and row four increase two on every side no increase at all on the next row increase on every side no increase on the next row just like that until you get to a total of 12 rows right from where we started we already have one two three and four so uh eight more to go okay this is where we are so far i'm done with 12 rows so i increased on row three five seven nine and 11 that's where we did our increases so let me see what we have so far uh, from the top down i've got about seven inches and then on the side about 13 13 14 around 14 yeah i've got around 14 inches across okay so for the next five rows we are going to do them with no increase at all uh if you're doing a a bigger size for example maybe 44 40 hips 44 inches you can do five rows uh, more let's say eight rows of no of no increase at all for this other uh, for the size uh, 42 hips and below um we're just going to do five rows of no increase at all okay so just do that that was just an update so from for the next five rows we are not, we are not going to increase just do the same you've been doing half double crochets in every stitch for the next five rows and we'll meet when you're at row 17 17 so for the five rows we did when you do the measurements again across 
you see it's now we had 14 before now it's 15 so that means that last stitch that we always put you know the last one it's more of an increase so yeah so now we have 15 inches and when i stretch this out you see it gets to about 18 inches yeah so when you multiply that that gets my size i was uh, looking forward to that's 36 uh, hip size in inches so yeah if you haven't acquired your desired you know some people have let's say maybe waist 26 and then hips i don't know it's not 36 like 40 <laughs> so in case in that case that means you will do more rows you know add a few more rows okay but for now for this size and if you have maybe up to hips 42 you are going to do only five rows if you want it longer you can add more rows okay so for now we are going to decrease and to decrease we'll only we'll be doing five decreases on every row for the next 10 rows five decreases will be uh on the sides at the back and then at the front so let me show you chain two and put a half double crochet like we we're doing before and uh, so i will make my first decrease around this area and then my next decrease will be around here so that will be two uh another one will be in the front area three and then four on the side and then the fifth will be around here so don't put them in one place so that will be obvious just scatter them around okay So I'll make my first decrease here and uh, to decrease uh, simply an over like before but instead of putting your hook through all the two loops just use the front loop like that not the back loop the front loop like that and uh, go into the next uh, stitch also the front loop so now you have you know four loops on your on your hook so yarn over pull through the first two so now you have three on your hook and then yarn over pull through all so that's how you make a decrease so we have these two now in, joined into one so yarn over and make a half double crochet in your next stitch just like that so you have a decrease so it's it's i i like to use this method on this uh, half double crochet skirts because you know it's not visible you can't you can't notice it at all so we will now do our other decrease right this other side okay Now that I don't have music, let me just tell you about the, how this skirt came to be about this tutorial. So just when I, had, I made this design, most people were asking me, oh, give us, give us a written pattern. Do you are you selling any pattern, you know? And I was like, okay, with this uh, pandemic, you know, most of us uh, are, have been affected a lot so i was like maybe i could earn you know make write a pattern and a little bit of money from from this pattern 
and then the other kind and generous part of me was like ah oh, what about those who can't afford you know people in the same situation as you they can't afford okay pause on that story now i'm at the end so other other hip side so i'll make another decrease so like we did before front loop front loop pull through once and then pull through all and then make a dub, half double crochet in the next stitch okay that was decrease number two so yeah so I was like, you know, there are people who can't afford the patterns and they, they've been asking, how do you keep the line straight? How do you do the ruffles and all that? So, you know, it's not fair to them because they will never learn unless you tell them. And for if you just sell the pattern, then they can't afford and they can't buy. So I'm like, okay. So that side of me won. So I write, uh, I do the tutorial. I think I was supposed to release it. Uh, right after my first video on the top on the um, uh, on the ruffle top so the day before i had finished editing and everything i was ready to post it and then i deleted it by accident and then i'm like god that's a sign it's a sign showing you don't post it on youtube you know sell the pattern you know write the pattern down and sell it instead of you know putting it on youtube for people to watch it for free while well, you could be making money so then i was like you know let me give it a day 24 hours if at least 10 people still ask me about the pattern like when are you going to do the video for the skirt you know then i will remake the video and the next day i tallied everyone that asked one two three up <laughs> till number 10 and i was like okay there is a sign you have to do the video so yeah here i am and that's how i came to repeat this video for you guys okay so now i will do my next decrease the third one uh front loop front loop pull through and pull through all then double crochet single half double crochet in the next stitch so yeah I, I hope i hope it is helpful anyway to most of you because most so many people had requested like you know it's it's not easy to know how to keep this line straight especially if you're working in one direction unless you're working that uh this other side turn your work work the other side there it is enough easy. with the chit chat so i've come to this other side of the hip and i'm going to make my fourth decrease so yarn over get into the front loop of the next uh, stitch and then front loop of the next yarn over pull through once yarn over pull through all okay so now continue just doing the same thing so now only one to go so you'll put it around here and then finish up the row so once you're done with the row for the next row just even them out don't squeeze them just in one like here and around the hip area if i put one decrease here then maybe the next row i could put it around here you know don't squeeze them just in one place the same thing thing with this other side and at the back too so if i put mine the front around here maybe the next time i can put it around here so keep alternating them as you go until you have a total of 10 rows of decrease then i'll meet you once you're done i'm done with the 27 rows so for the next five rows we are going to decrease differently so for row 28 it will be uh we will not decrease at all row 29 we will decrease only three stitches instead of five like we're doing before it will only be three so yeah 28 no decrease 29 decrease three 30 no decrease 31 decrease three and then 32 no decrease and then 33 decrease three so it will be yeah how many rows of decrease 
anyway it will be three rows of decrease and then two rows of no decrease and then once you're done with those five rows we'll do the ruffles so if you want your skirt to be longer then uh, do more rows in that same pattern i just told you to whichever length you want it to be but if you want to be as short as it as it is in my pictures just below the bum bum that's where the ruffles start then you will just do a total of 33 rows right from the start to the end 33 rows okay so let's do those five row, five more rows and then we'll get back i'm done with 33 rows and uh, that brings us to about 13 inches long so we are now going to work on the ruffles i love to have my skirts uh tight because that's how you you make the ruffles you know lay out nicely otherwise if the skirt is too baggy then it's going to they're just going to fall like vegetables so if you want them like laying out towards nicely then make sure your skirt is you know of a body con so for row 34 we are going to do the ruffles and with the ruffles will be increasing so once you have your two chains insert your first half double crochet and in that same half double crochet insert another half double crochet so we have two half double crochets in one stitch and that goes for all the stitches around increase in every stitch you do that by putting two half double crochets in one stitch just like that so this is this next stitch this is one and then put another in that very right same stitch so one double crochet in one stitch and then in that very same stitch put another half double crochet so we're going to do that for the whole of uh whole of row 24 two half double crochets in every stitch until the end one and two one and then two like that so do that and then we'll meet when you're done once you get to this row so i'm coming to the end of row 34 two double crochet half double crochets in that very last one i'll just put one okay and then make a slip stitch so for row 35 you chain two put a half double crochet in that very first stitch and then in the next stitch make an increase that's two half double crochets in one stitch even in the next one make two half double crochets in one stitch so now we have two increases so that that this next stitch do not make an increase just put one Half double crochet and now go into the next stitch make an increase to put put two half double crochets in that same stitch and then next stitch also put two half double crochets in one stitch and the third one do not increase so that will be the pattern so it will be two increases two stitches of increase and then no stitch no increase in the next stitch two stitches of increase and then no increase i don't know if I, i'm explaining it well but i'm hoping you get it so here we have no increase so the next will be two half double crochets in that stitch and then two half double crochets in the next stitch and then the third one just one half double crochet okay let's let's repeat it so this is one now in the next will make an increase and then the next an increase one and two and then the third one will do no increase so it will be just one so the next stitch will be one 
and two then next stitch one and two and the next stitch just one so repeat that pattern for row 35 so it's an increase in this one two so one and two and next is just one okay so repeat that pattern until you get to the end of the row and once you do that will be it for the increases so the next uh, these are two rows so for the flared part i normally do 12 so we'll have 12 rows two rows of increases and then the next 10 rows not increase at all and then you will be done if you want to make the ruffles longer the f then add more rows but i only do 12 okay so do that and i'll see you when you're done <laughs> so yeah i'm done with my 12 rows of ruffles and just like that we are done how how beautiful are these ruffles though so simply cut off the yarn sew in the ends and you have yourself a beautiful skirt <laughs> So yeah, thank you guys for watching. Surely if you haven't subscribed, how can I help you, you know? You need to subscribe so that you don't miss on more beautiful designs coming your way. Hit the, the, uh, the notification bell so that you get notified every time I post a video. And to tell you, I've got a lot in store. So subscribe. Thank you guys for watching. See you in the next video.